So what's up everybody? I'm here in my home office, which is actually my kitchen, and it's going to be a little different video today. It's just going to be kind of longer form. I'm checking out this hauler dude that uh, we've been working on. Recently just went through a rework of the, of, of the hauler boy. Wasn't quite up to Adrian's standards. Let me show you what he did look like as of last month. This was him as of last month, and this is him now. Uh, originally, the holler boy did not have a face. Did not have a face. Uh, Shape around here since you last been here. Watch. Uh, I added a face on him back in December, and I guess I uh, started messing with some facial motion capture stuff. Kind of put us into overdrive and trying to make create, create a character that was, you know, had some realistic aspects. Because um, Adrian did a Adrian did a lot of research on just the human body and everything and proportions to create the holler boy that you see here on the left, actually. He could tell you the proportion game a little better than me because obviously he's the one that researched it. I think he looked at like Leonardo da Vinci's um, art, his artwork with the guy out like that. Anyway, he tried to explain it to me. I apparently didn't listen all that well. And yeah, so as you can tell, this was the holler boy as of December. This is him in February. He's gone through a lot of transformation. He's got proper he's got proper body uh, proportions. His face looks more realistic. It's less um, I mean it's it's more it's more oblong than circular in shape. Uh, pretty pretty cool. Yeah, he also has hair. The other uh, holler boy just kind of had a flat sheet. So this is the this is the holler boy's rework. Let's go ahead and full screen him. His rig. Uh, he actually just finished rigging him yesterday. So a lot of it may not be perfect. He kind of finished finished it up at the end of the day. Uh, he touched on it a lot. Today's a snow day, so I figured uh, I'd review him a little bit. Just kind of show, show you him a little bit, show you his rig, show you how he moves, and just talk about it because uh, it's super interesting to make these characters, um, especially when you rig them. Like, it's cool to make them, but then if you can rig them and their body moves correctly, hmm, hmm. We've got all these little shapes here. These are actually his control points for his rig. And uh, you can see if I move him around, uh, his eyes are, let's see, let's move him over here. His eyes are actually following this here. So that's, so yeah, so we made the character and then we rigged him using a tool. Let's see if I have it. It's called Auto Rig Pro. It's on the Blender Market, Gumroad, all those little websites for third-party add-ons for Blender. And the basic version costs like 20 bucks, but I'm telling you, it is so worth it. He's got a he's got a demo uh, on his on those on the sites. I might link that below to the Auto Rig Pro. But um, I mean, I'm telling you, it saves you so much work. We used to rig these dudes, and they have very simple bone structure. I'm talking like one bone for the spine, and maybe a maybe a couple for the arms and the legs, and one for the head. That was it. That's what we taught students. We taught students that two years ago. And uh, we've we've you know we've we've threw that method out the door because we were trying to stick to more realistic bone structure, something that you can use and you have a lot more freedom and fix flexibility with. He's got uh, he's got eyelids that close. They close. I mean honestly, this is the best closing eyelid uh, character we've had so far. Uh, I think we have some weight painting issues that may need to be addressed here. It doesn't. It's not a complete blink. Uh, let's check his eyebrows. Let's see if we can give him a little expression here. Maybe something like the, the uh, something like the rock. Like look at him. He's like, I can see that. That's the that's the people's eyebrow right there. You can look over here. It looks like his eyes are not actually complete ovals. I mean they're not completely circular, so it leads to a little transformation when you're moving his eye. His eyes a little a little messed up, but nothing you can't fix uh, with some with some white painting and. Uh, little things like that. So we checked out the eyes. Uh, what else we got here? We got the we got what are these skull bones? Apparently, I can move his skull like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like there's some stuff. That's probably fine. Yeah, these are bones that aren't really moved a lot. Stretch his face out, all that stuff. Yeah, these bones you don't really. Skull bones don't really ever get anything through on them. It's mostly uh, maybe the jaw wheel. Oh, where's the jaw bone? Right here. So the jaw bone's a big one, and I'm pretty sure he kind of fixed this one up. So, but look at there. He can talk. Mouth is great, as is. You see some clipping of the inside of his jaw. Uh, that's white painting. A little bit of white painting. We'll fix that. 
his eyes are cool. Let's see what these, what are these bones? What do they do? Oh, you can move his whole eye so I can stretch his face out. Kind of reminds me of the Goonies a little bit, actually. If you guys saw that. Something from the Goonies. Look at that. You can uh, mess with all the pieces of the lip. You can kind of make them, let's, let's see this really awful smile. You know, that's a face only a mother could love. Shoulder bone right here. Kind of, you know, let's actually, ooh, that looks cool. Kind of roll your shoulder a little bit. So that looks that looks like a good shoulder roll. Uh, something I'm noticing is how well the um, the clothes actually stick to the rig too, because I'm pretty sure they're separate, but maybe not. Look at that. That looks that's some really good like. It doesn't it doesn't like you can see like how it almost pretends like there's the, a muscle pulling that arm down. So this rig is actually pretty well. This is why we bought this add-on. I mean, it just makes this so easy, and it's quick. It's quick. I mean, you have a complete rig in minutes, if that. Maybe you can do it in under a minute once you get once you get the thing down. His hands. I think his hand works pretty well. Check the hand out. What's up? Watch him wave at you guys. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Yeah. So I mean, they bend to a point, and then uh, then something goes up with them. So maybe uh, just some, just some. Uh, that's not too bad. That's that would work. So the, the hands, you know, that's something that we'll work on. These are probably the best hands we've had so far. So I'll, I'll chalk that up as a success with the hands. You can give them a uh, super long thumbs. Pretty sweet. Let's check out the pinky. Let's just see how the pinky's doing. Yeah, not not crazy, not crazy bad. I'm a, I'm a fan. Here, let's see. Let's check out his body. Let's see him dance a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And let's see. Let's grab this one. This 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 is actually my favorite bone to mess with because um the, they have IK built into the legs uh, with this tool. So you know you get the proper bend. You get that super sweet satisfactory bend of the joints and the knees. That just looks great. I mean, this, just imagine, imagine, so imagine if you didn't have IK with this tool, you would have to like, you would have to figure out how, how these bones bend on their own. So I'm able to like move his foot out, make it look like he's walking. I'm not doing this on a proper axis, so probably doesn't look great. Uh, look, look at that. Now he's just sitting down and that was, that was no problem. I mean, you got some clipping of his jacket here. But like I said, weight painting, a little bit of weight painting, psh, you never even know that was an issue. Don't y'all wish you could do that? Just twist your uh, twist your vertices in the infinity like that? Ugh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let's turn on the hand IK okay, real fast, and then we'll check that out, which is easily done. You just select the hand bone, and then just check out the hand IK, okay, and let's see how that's looking. I mean, you got a little, give them reaching out for stuff. Like, uh, let's say there's a there's a pizza in front of him and he needs to get it. Just reach out there. Okay, maybe you don't want him to stretch that much. Get him to bend that hand the right way. The IK works great. But that's pretty much, um, so that's the Holler Boys rig uh, at the moment. That's that's just using Auto Rig Pro. So that's just taking it, that's pretty much taking it through this Auto Rig Pro sequence and just uh, messing with it. And he, I, know he, I know he weight painted the mouth a bit. Because uh, usually when you, with the auto rig tool, if you don't get it perfect, and even if you get it perfect, there's still going to be some issues. I mean, it's an it's a tool that does it on its own. It's an auto rigger. So, yeah, I mean, pretty great results from it. So this will be a great add-on for our virtual reality lab as we continue further with building it out and getting students up there and getting them interested in virtual production and 3D design. Download Blender, make yourself something, make yourself a character, and then get the auto rig tool and just... Just check it out. It's a great tool. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to highlight the Holler Boy, the new Holler Boy and his rig. I just want to check, and I wanted a reason to check it out because I'm going to try and add some face shapes to his face. Because right now he's controlled through bones, but I want to control him through face shapes. And I actually have a tool that makes that a little easier. And I may include that in the next video. So, awesome. So that's it for this video. And um, I'll holler at y'all later. Do you smell what the rock is cooking?